everyone, it's me Jules here and I'm back for another video. In today's video I'll be doing something a little bit different. I will be making my first ever doll custom. I have never done something like this before so I thought I would record this and see how it turns out. I normally make LPS customs that look like this and making doll customs is just going to be a completely different experience to me so I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I did was looking through all of the doll bases that I had. I have already prepared all of my bases by taking up the factory paint and the doll's hair. It was a lot of bases to choose from, but I decided to go with this dark brown skin color. The reason to why I wanted this one was because I just love the skin color, I think it's just beautiful. I wish it was a little bit darker, but since it's my first ever custom, I'm just gonna stick with this color and not try and repaint the body. I wanted this custom to be really pink and kawaii, so I decided to go with some pink and white colors for the outfit itself. It was really hard deciding which fabric I should choose, but I just ended up with this one. <laughs> the last time I tried to stitch something was when I was around 7 years old, and that is 11 years ago. So making this dress was really hard, so I couldn't do it on camera. But this was basically how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty okay since, you know, I haven't done this in 11 years. And to be honest, I never liked stitching or anything like that when I was a kid. I just did it because you had to do it in school and I hated it because I wasn't good at it and I cried every time I had to re-stitch it and stuff like that because I made many mistakes. I also made these thigh-high stockings with some cute black bows on them. And since I added black bows on the stockings, I decided to add some more black um, bows onto the dress and also a black choker. Because I thought the dress was a little bit plain, so that was why I did this, and I think it turned out pretty cute. But now when the dress is down, let's go on with the face up. So I started with painting the head a light pink just to go with that hair that I was going to re root later. I was a little bit impatient actually. I hadn't received the re rooting hair because I live in Sweden and the hair that I had ordered from was from Los Angeles and that is like really far away from me so it took about two weeks for it to get here so I started with the face up right away but that was a mistake. I sprayed the doll with Mr. Super Clear and then I used soft pastels and watercolor pencils to do the face. I really do not recommend you to do the face up before you have actually re the hair. I learned my lesson and I will not be doing this ever again. I also recommend you to have some type of gloves when you do the face up because natural oils on your hands will actually kind of mess with the sealer. In the end, I learned my lesson once again, but you know, it's my first time so bear with me. Alright, so I think the blushing turned out pretty good, um, but you know, it doesn't matter. Um, you will see in a second why it doesn't matter. So the face turned out to look like this. Um, I tried to convince myself it looked good, but really it didn't look good. It was really awful and messy and I didn't like it, so I ended up moving the whole face and I restarted everything. <laughs> and like I said, I learned my lesson. I received the hair like a week later and I re rooted the doll before I did the face up. So I used this really soft, long pink hair for this custom, which I just think is adorable. And here is the custom after I repainted it a second time and this time I think it turned out a lot better and I choose pink eyes instead of blue eyes this time and I glazed the eyes and lips and I added some eyelashes and I think this one turned out so good like I'm proud of it okay I'm sorry and now it's time to style the hair so I remove this kind of protective um, fabric that I put on the hair and oh my gosh it looks so cute and I put it back on its body and oh my gosh all right so I'm actually in my kitchen now I'm so sorry for the angle and the lighting but um I couldn't really do anything better than this and I'm really sorry so what I'm doing is that I'm putting on boiling water on the hair I'm trying not to get it on the face and then I'm putting on cold water so I decided to just go really basic with this um, hairstyle. I just wanted it to be really plain but really long hair. Like not really too complicated because it's my first ever custom and I do not want to ruin anything. Just, yeah. <laughs> I have much more to learn, okay? After many days, the doll is done. This is how she turned out. What do you think? Do you like her? 
I actually think she turned out a lot better than expected since, I mean, this was my first time and I have never done anything like this before. I am only familiar with acrylic paint when it comes to painting on plastic, so this was really new to me. Make sure to leave a comment down below saying your opinion about this doll. And I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video even though this content is not really what I usually do. But I have been in hospital a lot these past few months and in a week I'm being put in hospital um, for around 3 months. So it has been really hard for me to actually make videos so I hope this is at least something that you can enjoy and yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. But oh well, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later! Bye! I love you all!